I hope I'm talking loud enough. I've got my fan on. Welcome back to another day in my life. I have just done the pee with Joe thing. Now, so what time is it? It is 9.33. Oh my god, that finished so early. Usually, like, I get up at, get back to my room at, like, 9.40. And I've got a smoothie, but I didn't end up making that much. I have a lot, so I'll probably have, like, a snack later. Um, lots of things to do today, but I'll get into that after now. Right now, I'm going to get ready. Um, I think today I'm actually going to get ready, ready, because I'm doing this, and I don't want to hurt your eyes. So, yesterday... I had a little dinner break. Um, okay, that's the only thing that's entertaining me. And I got these silk joggers. I kind of want to feel nice today. I think I want to feel nice every day, but I want to feel nice through what I'm wearing today. So I've got those. I don't actually know what will go with it though. So I'll try on a few different things and I'll maybe wear some jewellery today if we're feeling adventurous. We are on week seven, I think. I think it's week seven of lockdown. Let me just double check. We're in week eight, I think, actually. Yeah. Week eight of lockdown, which is so crazy. I did not think, I, I don't know if I thought it was going to last this long or not. I think I kind of wanted it to. Why I wanted it to, I mean, like, I don't, I didn't want it to carry on, but I was just really enjoying being at home. For me, this is like obviously very different for a lot of lot of people but I feel like obviously there are a bunch of cons so many cons but things like I am actually sleeping enough I've got my evenings back I've got my weekends back I actually was able to have a half term rather than worry I mean Easter rather than doing work every single day I was able to have days where I didn't and it was fine because I was at home so I'm more in control of like how quickly I do my work but that's like a con because it's taking so much longer to do everything like yes I might not have as much homework stuff but my classwork takes longer because I'm teaching myself and <laughs> that not good not good at all and things like my French I'm like taking the opportunity to actually take my time and look things up and not have like the nerves and anxiousness I feel in the lesson and actually just be able to do my work so that is like I guess it makes up for the time that I've gained by not having as much homework it's just a really really confusing time and it's just like it's so hard for everyone obviously I'm in a very very privileged position to like not have to worry about certain things but still there are other things to worry about but we're not going to think about that right now because I don't want to. So what has been going on with you guys? I started watching Modern Family at the beginning of lockdown and I am on season five, which is pretty good. There's like 20 odd episodes for a season. I also watched Never Have I Ever on Netflix with like that Indian girl. It's a really good show. I got this app a few days ago called Sleep Cycle and basically it tracks your sleep like when you're in deep sleep or like light sleep and um it has like an alarm that like you give it like a, a time frame to wake you up in and it will wake you up in your lightest bit of sleep which has actually been really good like i like checked it to make sure it was all like like it actually worked and everyone is saying that yeah it does and it gives you like a whole graph after like in the morning of like when you were awake light sleep deep sleep it gives you like a percentage of like the quality of your sleep and how regular it was and obviously there's like premium stuff that you can have for free like for a free child have in a free trial or pay for it i don't know if that makes sense um that's been cool i haven't been using it long though i think it's been like six days six nights i've ordered so many bits of clothing to keep me occupied watched so many movies so we got disney plus just before the easter and i binged so much i watched um high school musical the musical the series which was so good such a good show it was not what i was expecting at all it wasn't as like hitty as i thought it was going to be and i liked that the people that they cast were actually people of like almost the correct age rather than 27 year olds playing kids in high school i'm watching the mandalorian as well 
we watched the first episode <laughs> um, on the weekend. I've, got, I've been having a lot more like online lessons, especially for French, which is the worst because I hate having French lessons. So when we were like, when I didn't have these online ones, I was, it's great. I was doing them at my own pace, no pressure of my teacher. But I don't have that anymore and it's kind of worse because no one puts their cameras on and so like everyone is just listening to your voice. My voice is annoying enough already. <clears throat> it also sounds kind of weird right now and I don't know why. I literally get nervous before every single one but apparently I'm not the only one because other people have told me that they feel the same way. <clears throat> I actually have an online lesson today but it's not French which is great which is also why I chose to film today. I know this is tinted moisturiser and so I probably should be doing this with my finger but this just feels better. I hope everybody is doing okay. I hope people have found ways to keep themselves occupied. Um, let me know what shows you're watching because I'm going to need something soon. I think I'm going to watch Killing, finish Killing Eve season... oh is there a season 3 now? I, I think I was on episode 3 season 2 um, me and my friend, he introduced me to it last summer and we finished it together but we weren't like actually together. It was just like, okay, I'm watching the episode now. Okay, me too. It's so good. It's so good. Um, and then we like binged some together, like in person. And then after that, we just literally after that day, we got up to episode three of season two and just didn't carry it on. And that was, always, that was 10 months ago. But I've had no problem watching Friends like three times around. I don't know why I haven't watched it because it's such a good show. V Villanelle I feel like is the more adult version of Sharpay. Like she's the evil character. You're not supposed to like her but I love her and I want to be her and that's exactly what it was like with Sharpay. I think I'm going to stop talking to you guys now though because I'm feeling very self-conscious. So I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay bye. I'm ready now. So I couldn't figure out what matches with these silk joggers so I've got on like a plain ribbed like off-white top so now I'm gonna make my bed and tidy my room a bit and carry on watching Royal Family <laughs> do today. I got organised and made my list last night and I've already crossed two things off because I did them last night. So today I have got some stuff for my English coursework to do. I've got some writing, I've got some reading. I have an online lecture at one for my coursework. I've got some reading of a French book that we're doing. I have to do a quiz on it as well. There's some other questions, I think, on the second chapter. And she, my French teacher has sent a bunch of PDFs over the past couple of days. I've just got to like file through all of them, download them and like put them in the right folders and stuff. I'm making dinner today. Mm -hmm. We're watching the last Star Wars movie because I haven't seen it yet. And it came on Disney Plus on mm -hmm. Monday, which is May the 4th. Crazy. Just had lunch. I've done quite a bit. I've pretty much done all my English for the day. Now in like 10 minutes I've got my, I've got like an online lecture thing for English and that'll be the last English thing I do today. And then after that I've got some French to do. I started, I almost started my French. Then I got a little bit distracted and I took off the cover of my notebook. It's a long story, it's kind of boring. I'm kind of out of breath because I just came upstairs. I haven't really filmed much, but it's just me doing the same thing for hours. Oh my God, my braid has stopped working and I don't know why. We are 
Just waiting for us. Romy, Simran. Everyone to join. Quickly and then go. You're in the classroom. Can you just shut the door behind you? Wait, Sorry, everyone. Uh, yes, Izzy. Hello. Izzy, go away. Uh, right, so we're going to move on to the um, second part of the lesson now. However, I think that Holden himself feels like he is the same level of an outsider throughout the whole book. Um, that's really, really interesting. So that's that's good, picking up on something I want to talk about in the second part of the lesson with you. Uh, this idea of the protagonist seeing themselves differently to how the reader sees them and having perhaps less self-awareness than, than we work out because we read between the lines of what they say about themselves. So, Simran, if you can come back on that, please. Um, is Holden becoming... Um, is Holden level-pegging in terms of being an outsider from beginning to end? Is that due to the things he does or the things that happen to him? So how much is that to do with his, con his choices? Uh, is there anything that happens to him that dictates that he remains an outsider from beginning to end or is it entirely okay so i finally finished that low chart it went on for so long really hot so i changed my top i think it actually like goes pretty well there was a huge fly in my room i don't know i think you could see me run away from it earlier but i don't know if i'm going to keep in that footage or not now I'm going to get on with some French. I have two hours left to do work. It is two o'clock, exactly. I just finished um, Star Wars and oh my god, <laughs> so good, so emotional. I don't want to spoil it for anyone who hasn't seen it, but I feel like most people have seen it by now because even I'm quite late. <sighs> I'm out of breath. Amazing, so good. Sad at parts, but like good sad. Because I think, okay, I'm not gonna say anymore because I don't want to spoil it. Just an amazing movie, and I'm just so like sad now because it's the end. I mean, we've still got Mandalorian to watch, but it's not the same. So, so now it is, it's 22, no, oh my god, it's 20 to 9. I have to go and talk to my one friend about the movie because she's asking me what I thought of it. And then I have to call my other friend because she needs to talk to me about something. Look at me with all of my two friends. Um, then maybe I'll make some TikToks. I already made a couple. Is that today? Yeah, that was today. And then I will probably edit this video. So mosh, so mosh. It's so good. Oh my God, it's so sad it has ended. And the way that it ended too, such closure.
they really really gave us closure which is great okay if i don't stop talking now i'm not gonna stop and i have to attend to some conversations okay peace out so the time the time is quarter to 11 and i spoke with my friends and did what i said what i was gonna do and i went downstairs and had like half a bag of onion rings because i got hungry what i really wanted was we had dominoes on tuesday and we had like loads of leftover pizza and me and my dad always eat it the next day but we didn't get around to eating it the yesterday because we had too much other food to eat so then it got thrown away and what i was really craving was like the crusts dipped into the garlic sauce because my sister ordered like a huge tub of the garlic sauce like not the little ones that come in the box like a separate huge one and like all of that stuff was in the fridge and i was gonna heat it up and eat it but unfortunately today is not yesterday today is today and today is one too many days to have leftover pizza takeaway pizza um so i couldn't have that and so i drowned my sorrows in onion rings vegan ones if that makes it any better i don't think it does anyway i i'm getting kind of tired but i don't think i'm gonna wake up early tomorrow because it's bank holiday tomorrow I still have lessons because my lessons are just set out every week as in like I have the same amount of work to do every single week and it's split up so that it fills up my lessons so even if I don't technically have the lessons that day I still have the work that week and especially tomorrow I have all my lessons so it's just too much work to like try and do in four days um so I'm still going to be doing stuff tomorrow um but I just, I don't think I'll wake up, I think I'll wake up at 9 instead of 8 because I don't think Joe Wicks is doing the pee thing. I'm not sure, but I'm going to tell myself that he isn't. But yeah, I'm going to like have a shower now and like go to bed. So I'm going to end it now. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you're all staying safe and staying at home and doing all the things that you're supposed to do. And I'm sending all of my good thoughts out. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and comment below and tell me what you guys have been doing this whole time what shows have you been watching any new skills not that you need to have new skills because this is not a productivity contest it's a lockdown because of a pandemic but if you have picked up any new skills let me know what they are new tv shows new foods you've tried from tiktok anything let me know so that's like that's comment subscribe as well because that would make me feel good about myself. Hope you guys enjoy this. I'll see you guys in the next video.